Welcome along everyone to another on-road podcast uh, video. Today I'm talking about discharging. Uh, hopefully you've seen my video on the uh, eye charger and the get the most out of your lipos. Uh, one thing that I didn't do on there was discharging at 40 amps. I didn't have a discharge bank uh, that allows me to charge at 40 amps on the uh, eye charger 406 Duo. I've since ordered one of those from the US. Uh, unfortunately, uh, couldn't find anywhere uh, in the UK that had stock or in Europe, um, so I had to order that from America. Since doing some digging, um, I found out that you can actually discharge at 40 amps on the uh, uh, iCharger 506 Duo, uh, and it doesn't mean that uh, I can only do or use one LiPo or uh, create a discharge or charge on one lipo. I'm actually uh, able to discharge one lipo and charge up another. The 406 Duo allows you to take out energy of one lipo and put it into another lipo, which is effectively what the discharge bank is doing anyway, because when you discharge the lipo at 40 amps, that uh, energy has got to be put somewhere, and the resistors that come with a discharge bank uh, they store the energy or, or dissipate the energy hence why the discharger bank gets really quite hot uh, if you've ever used one as I say uh, didn't have anything in the UK or Europe so I had to order it from America it's cost me 80 odd pounds uh, which has been wasted but it'll give me something to test against when it comes uh, in a few weeks time so uh, as I say since then found out that you can do that on the iCharger anyway and what I've done here is uh, it's quite a, a complex uh, set of um, programming on the charger. As you probably well know, I hate the interface of this iCharger, but uh, the more you play around with it, the, uh, the more you get to learn its nuances and find all its uh, various menus and, and options. So let's get in. Um, let me move the camera down to the uh, charger itself to make it a little bit easier for you all to see and hopefully uh, that's as clear as I could get it I've uh, got my GoPro sitting on top there and hopefully you can see the left and right uh, ports of the uh, of the charger so what I've done is I've charged up one of the LiPos that I've got here fully and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, the port on the left hand side the blue port as the discharge port and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, plug the LiPo in, pop the LiPo into the LiPo sack, and then I'm going to click on the uh, LiPo icon, going to go down to discharge, and you can see on the right hand side there I've actually got it set up to 35 amps i'm sorry it's a little bit blurred but i couldn't get it absolutely perfect and, and clear but you're going to see uh the the selections that i make as i go through here so i've i've got the 35 amps there at the moment um that's what i've been doing it and i've done the 40 and it does go up to 40 amps so then i'm going to press the status button which then takes us through to uh the next screen and then i'm gonna you can see i've got this red uh box moving around the page i'm going to go to options excuse me i'm not going to go to options i'm going to go back to discharge click on discharge and now we're in this uh screen the lipo discharge setup screen um, i'm going to scroll down to the regenerative mode and at the moment it's uh, set to off i'm going to scroll it and the uh, two selections are to input or to channel. Now what that's selecting is that it's going to move the energy out of this uh, battery or out of this channel into the next channel. So I'm going to select that and then I'm going to stroll across to set and uh, the channel join, you can either select it as resistance or bulbs, which would be your resistance bank, or charging a battery. I'm going to select charging a battery and then I'm going to go back and then I'm going to go back once more 
and then I'm going to press save. Now you can see by the side of the discharge box now uh, it's got a reg channel so regeneration and set to channel. Um, now uh, I've set it to 35 amps as I said you can set that to 40 that's no problem if you want to. Uh, by doing that you just simply scroll across move it up to the 40 amps And then what you can do at this point is press start. Now what's going to happen is on the left hand side you can see that nothing's happening. It's actually got weight up there. So it's not going to allow itself to discharge until another LiPo is connected. So now the LiPo on the second channel. I'm going to plug this in. There she goes. and then pop that in a LiPo bag. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to charge this LiPo. I've got it at 3C, I'm gonna start charging. And as soon as I start charging, on the left-hand side, you'll start to see that that LiPo is now gonna to start to discharge. Off it goes, and then that's gonna move all the way to 40 amps. Now it doesn't do it immediately, but as it goes on through the process, uh, it will get 240 amps. Now you can see it's already gone above the, if you've ever tried to discharge at 40 amps with um, a LiPo uh, without doing this process, you'll know that it barely gets above 20 amps. Now as this goes on, as it discharges more, it gradually creeps its way up to 40 amps over a period of a charge. It takes a little bit longer, and I don't really know how quick it does it uh, with a discharge bank. Uh, but I think that's a really, really great way of A, saving yourself £80 and giving yourself the opportunity to discharge your LiPo uh, at 40 amps. But not only that, you're now discharging one LiPo and charging another, which really saves some time if you're at a club meeting or if you're at a national where actually you still only get an hour and discharging and charging whilst allowing the LiPo to cool down within that hour actually becomes really, really difficult. So that's a really useful way of uh, discharging and charging at 40 amps. As you can see, it's still creeping up. Hope that's been some use to you. Click the like button if you haven't done, or done so already. Subscribe to the channel. More videos coming your way very soon. And I hope you're all keeping well and look forward to seeing you trackside soon.